Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side, Rahul Magan here is the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP, and this time we are covering a video which is valuation of overnight index swap. I hope you might have heard this word several times, and this word is a is a little B word also nowadays because majority of the central banks across the globe are cutting the rates and moving towards a competitive monetary policy. And for overnight index swap plays a very important role. You know, first of all, uh, before moving forward, let me summarize you what do you mean by overnight index swap. Now, overnight index swap is one of the most beautiful swaps that has been discovered by the portfolio managers, and these such kind of swaps are extensively going to be used in the market. Now, what do you mean by overnight index swap? It means hedging off local currency assets and liabilities in local currency books in local in local country. So what I meant to say is, assuming I'm giving you a hypothetical example, assuming you you are a company who holds more than 10,000 crores of uh, term deposit, and assuming the weighted average interest rate you are minting is roughly say 5.5 percent. Now I'm asking you a question that without even cancelling any, and assuming that Reserve Bank of India increases the repo rate, assuming for a while. Now I'm asking a question that without cutting any, without cutting the term deposit, how can you increase the interest rates of your term deposit? This is what overnight index swap is all about. I repeat, overnight index swap is the ability to hedge your local currency assets and liabilities in local currency books and in local local country. Overnight index swap is one of the deepest uh, swap market across the globe. Be it USD OIS, Euro OIS, GBP OIS, Japanese yen OIS, Canadian dollar OIS, Australian dollar OIS, New Zealand dollar OIS, Singapore dollar OIS. You just name the currency and you will find the OIS market. One biggest myth which which is uh, still linked with the OIS market is that it can only only be used to hedge the receivable. Sorry, hedge the payables. No, payables no like. No, overnight index swap can be used to hedge. Overnight index swap can be used to hedge even assets as well. Now let us take an example of a liability now, because first we have taken an example of asset. Assuming you are having a liability that you you are paying eight and half percent, and assuming Reserve Bank of India cut the repo rate by one and half percent, assuming or say one percent, so now the repo rate will reduce so. So as for the transmission mechanism, your the liability rate or the liability impact in your PNL should be reduced by 100 bips, if not 100 bips, then at least 80 bips. Now what would happen? How can you how can you continue with the liability? How can you reduce the ability? How can you reduce the interest rate impact while continue continue with the liability? This is what overnight index swap is all about. Now overnight index swaps, uh, they uh, you know every country have a different way and how they are uh, how they are uh, you know doing the fixings of overnight index swap. But in India, the fixings of the overnight swap is done by Thomson Reuters. So Thomson Reuters is doing the fixing of the uh, MIBOR. It is coming roughly 9:55 a.m. or at maximum 10 a.m. every day if the chief you are working there. And overnight index swap is based upon the fact that if the period of the overnight index swap is greater than six months, then you need to settle your uh, receivable or payable. It means the net the net settlement should happen once in six months. If the period of your OIS is greater than one year, less than one year, then you need to settle once. So I repeat, if the OIS is of greater than ten, one year, then you need to settle it semi-annually. If it is within one year, then there is going to be only one settlement, preferably semi-annually settlement. Two semi-annually settlement. Now, if you look at here, the screen right up front view, I will take you here. But before moving, let me summarize you one fact. OIS can be of two type. It's not two type. It is a person who can who over the period of the time defined it as a two type. Now, what do you mean by this? If you think that interest rate will get down, because OIS in India are dependent upon two legs. Leg number one is the OIS rate, which is getting traded on the Thomson Reuters. We have no right to produce Thomson Reuters here, so we just took the quote of 10 year OIS. So one year, two year, three year, four year, till 10 year. So you have the OIS rate, which is trading by sell quote. Now bid means 
an asset. It means your asset and a bank liability. As means your liability and bank asset. If I say in simplistic tone, bid means the hedging of local currency asset in local currency books and in local country. As means hedging of local currency liabilities in local currency in local currency and in local currency books. Now there are two legs to OIS. One leg to OIS the rate at which it is trading. Second leg is the overnight rate which is known as MIBOR. MIBOR is nothing but the cousin of LIBOR. MIBOR stands for Mumbai Interbank Operate. But there is a great difference between the way bootstrapping and, and, inter, and interpolation is happening in the MIBOR and in the LIBOR. In LIBOR, bootstrapping and interpolation is done using two quartiles, quartile 1 and quartile 4. And the average of 8 would be taken as LIBOR. On the other hand, in uh, MIBOR, the bootstrapping and interpolation is happening, removing the top one and the lower one. It means that... It means that if it means that if your interest rate, it means that uh, the lowest and the highest will go, so the outliers will go, and you are able to do this uh, using a standard. You are able to do this without outliers. Now to explain uh, why yes, we assume that there is a company Exxon Mobil. Yes, there is a company Exxon Mobil whose 10 year bonds is trading in the market at 936. This is the present value which we computed here. This is the present value which we computed here. So 1000 is the face value, 8% is the coupon, yield is 9% and bond present value is 936 approximately. Now this is the bond present value and the period of the bond standing at 10 years. Period of the bond standing at 10 years. Now how do you go about this? You have an expectation or you have a belief that interest rate in India would rise. Why are you thinking that? the repo rate will rise you thinking that repo rate will rise inflation is picking up foreign exchange uh, dollar is scheduled to touch at 68 by December 2016 the international remittances are, are coming down IAP is falling down and so on and so forth so you expect that the rate will go up on the other hand there would be somebody in the market who must be expecting that rate will build down and so there is a contra now it is a 10 year period as earlier mentioned that if the OIS period is greater than 1 year then you need to do 2 settlement in a year which is 6 month settlement. But we don't have the space as well as the time to explain you the complete 10 year. So what we are doing we just constructed our data based upon 1 year and then you can follow on from here. So this is day 1 to day 30. You can see right in front of your screen. Day 1 to day 30. And these are the fixing rates, 5.75, 76, 77 and so on and so forth. Don't be under an impression that OIS can, uh, OI, that don't be under, under an impression that for OIS you need to show, uh, you know, you need to go through a lot of paperwork, a lot of documentation. That is not the case. The more regulated the forward contract section we have in India, the less, less the, the equivalent, uh, less uh, rigid we have uh, you know the OIS market in India and these are the fixings I again repeat it's going to be drive by JPA by by your uh, I would say uh, Thomson Reuters at 10 a.m. every day now what you are going to do in this a fixing would come at 10 a.m. and that fixing is going to be drive by 19 bank and what uh, Thomson Reuters will do they will cut the first one and the last one. So you're left with 17 banks and they just take the average of 17. In the absence of, of having uh, input uh, from less than five banks, then that day, you know, the MIPO is not getting fixed. But since it is a 10 year and we also told you that anything greater than 10 year to be settled twice in a year, which is at six months, we don't have the bandwidth as well as the time to explain uh, time to explain so what did we had taken for 30 days now we assume this is the fixing which is done by Thomson Reuters for 30 days I'm just taking a little bit up now these 30 days I converted this percentage into numbers and then I will calculate the geometric mean of OIS please see the formula of the geometric mean this is how you will calculate the geometric mean of the OIS you just need to product all 
you need to do raised to the power 1 divided by 30 because we have taken an example of 30 and then you just need to minus 1 and do you need to percentage why we did so we did so because we, we did so because we are not taking average into computation we are not taking weighted average into computation because weighted average you need to give the weights and you don't know how the weights would uh, weights would uh, look like so you are going to take geometric average into consideration now the geometric average come approximately 5.82 5.82 now how you're going to net settle so you already have a bond on which you are paying 8% the OIS 10 year OIS you bought because you are expecting that interest rate to go up when you are expecting that interest rate to go up then what you do you are going to you are going to receive the fixing and you are going to pay the 10 or 10 year OIS why you are going to receive the fixing because if there is a probability that interest rate will go up in India then the fee, every day 10 EM fixings would go up. Then it is better for me to buy fixings or to receive fixings and pay and fixings or floating and pay the one fixed rate. Assuming at the time of the, uh, sorry, sitting today the 10 year OIS is trading at 5.5%. So this 8% is clear. This is the coupon 8%. Uh, op opposite one, this is the coupon 8%. And this OIS 5.5% is something which you are paying, which I'm calculating it here. This is that 5.5%. And then you have, and then you have received fixing that you already calculated. Now this is here, and this is the product. Uh, this is how we calculated the geometric average that you yourself saw. I press just press F2. You saw, saw how this is how we will calculate, calculate the geometric average. This comes out uh, 5.82. So you mean to say I have received 5.82%. On the other hand, I pay 5.50. So there is a net difference of 32 paisa I earn, and that 32 paisa will reduce with the coupon for the net benefit to the company. Company who is doing OIS is roughly 32 paisa. This is how OIS would work. Believe me, overnight index swap seems very fancy in India and a lot of many treasurer do not know how, how to value overnight index swap, what rate should be taken, what library is saying and so on and so forth. And so what is happening in majority cases in India that if interest rate is going up and you already bought the dollars, then it is going up. If interest rate is getting down, then it is getting down. So that is very little less in India. But if you go outside India, based in Singapore and New York, then we will get to know that overnight index swap is it's himself is one of the biggest markets across the globe. And that is a fact. Because you name the currency, you will find the overnight index swap. So in nutshell, this is how overnight index swap will go. And overnight index will depend upon uh, two legs. One is the leg at which uh, the leg at the, 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 what you are paying and another the leg which, what you are this is what you are receiving. So this was all about uh, overnight index swap. You can also redesign this Excel file from the dovish point of view, which you are planning. And uh, you can go write a letter. Uh, you can contact us at the following numbers. These are our contact details. Rahul.Magan at the rate registryconsulting.net. Not in my alternate email ID is 9 at my Twitter handle is RahulMagan8 and my website is www.tragiconsulting.in. You are most welcome to connect with us and we continue to produce better videos for you. Thank you and have a great day.